So most of the time when you factor, it's best to see if you could just figure it out by creating two binomials and just noodling it out, you know, guess and check. But sometimes you'll get trinomials that are just ugly looking and you don't even want to try guessing and checking. So what we have is a process called factoring by grouping. And it works every time as long as the trinomial is factorable. We'll talk later on about how you know when a trinomial is factorable, but in this level of what we're doing, if I tell you it's factorable, it's factorable and you need to factor it. So here's what we do. Factoring by grouping. There are three parts to the trinomial. If we can get break this into four parts, it's much easier to factor. And what we're going to do is we're going to break the 13x into two parts. But we have to do it in a specific way. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to multiply the two ends of the trinomial. 6 times 6 is 36. So we're dealing with a 36, positive 36, because a positive times a positive is a positive. We need factors of 36 that add to 13. Now there's lots of factors of 36. There's 1 and 36, there's 2 and 18, there's 3 and 12, there's 4 and 9, there's 6 times 6 is 36. There's lots of factors, but we only want the pair that add up to 13. Well, it can't be 1 and 36 because that adds up to 37. It can't be 2 and 18 because that adds up to 20. 3 and 12 add up to 15. 4 and 9, that adds up to 13. And 6 times 6, while it multiplies to 36, it doesn't add to 13. Now, you don't have to write all the factors that are possible down. You can just start with a few and try to work your way logically towards 13. So essentially, 4 and 9 are the numbers we're after. We're going to break 13x into 4x and 9x, or 9x and 4x. It doesn't matter which one's first. So now that we need, now we know that we're going to break it into 4 and 9, what we're going to do is we're going to rewrite this trinomial, which means three numbers, into a quad, which is 4. Again, we are looking to break 3x, so 6x squared is just fine. And the 6 is just fine. It's the 13x that's going to be broken into 4x and 9x, or 9x and 4x. So 4x and 9x. Now we want to group. We want to group the first two together. And, and the word and means plus. We want to break the second group away. So this is the same as this, because 9x and 4x is 13. And this is actually the same as this, because 6x squared plus 4x plus 9x plus 6 is still this, and that's still this. We have not done anything to the original trinomial except for broken it into four parts, and then broken those four parts into groups of two. Now the first thing is I look at this and I go, what can I factor out? Well, 4 and 6 are both divisible by 2, and there's an x in both of them, so I can factor out a 2x. Two, 2 times what is 6? Well, that would be a 3. And x times x would be 2, would be x squared, plus 2. Now always double check by multiplying it through distribution. 2 times 3 is 6, x times x is x squared. 2x times 2 is 4x. I've done it right. And guess what? That is my first factor. Now I'm going to reuse this factor because it has to be common for both of these. So this factor must work for this group here. If it doesn't, I've done something wrong. What times 3x is 9x? Well, that would simply be a 3. Now we check. 3 times 3x is the 9x, and 3 times 2 is the 6. Remember, we're adding these two groupings. Now, this whole group 
and this whole group has something in common. They both have 3x plus 2. So I'm actually going to factor that out of both groups. And what is left behind is 2x and 3. So if I multiply these two binomials, they should go back to my original trinomial. This should be the factor of this trinomial. To double check, you simply multiply. So to double check this, I will multiply these two binomials. I have 3x plus 2, and I'm going to multiply it by 2x plus 3. Let me move the camera a little bit. So I'm going to multiply these binomials and see what they come out to. 3x times 2x is 6x squared. 2 times 2x is 4x. 3 times 3x is 9x. And 2 times 3 is 6. So I have a 6x squared. I have 4x and 9x, that's 13x. And I have a 6. So this is a result of multiplying my factored binomials. Is it the same? Yes, it is. So these two binomials multiplied bring me back to the trinomial. This trinomial is factored only by these two binomials multiplied. My answer for factoring this trinomial is these two binomials. Now what we do with these I'll explain in our next lesson. But you want to practice factoring by grouping when you get stuck. If you can figure it out in your head by guessing and checking, that's actually kind of better because we want you to develop that number sense. But you should also have a method that works every time. And factoring by grouping will work every time a trinomial is factorable.